Welcome to the virtual touch tour for the New Woolsey Theatre's Goldilocks and the Three Bears, the Rock and Roll Panto. This will hopefully give you an impression of the textures of some of the props, costumes, and surfaces on the set. More notes and descriptions of the actors, set, and costumes will be available in an audio description introduction prior to the performance. So first, let's walk around the set and hear some of the textures of its surfaces. This is the sound of someone walking on the stage. And this is walking on the musicians' platforms. Here's the sound of the Perspex screen surrounding the drum kit. This is a hand running over fabric that covers the side walls. And rustling of the velvet drapes at the back proscenium entrance. Dame Belinda first enters on a tricycle, and here's the tricycle bell. There's lots of animal acts in this circus. Dexter the dromedary is played by two performers in a one-humped camel suit with a soft furry coat that feels like this. Here's Dexter's harness. And of course the three bears who appear in full furry bear costumes. Here's the sound of scratching their nose. Patting their fur. And here's the sound their furry paws make when walking. Unfortunately, Mama, Papa, and Baby Bear get chained up at Whippem's Circus. Here's the sound of the chains they wear around their necks. And here's the keys that unlock them. When the Goldilocks story is told, we go into the Three Bears' Cottage. Here's the sound of their wooden beds. And the sound of a spoon scooping up porridge from their three bowls. In their security duties, Whippem's sidekicks, Flogham and Fleesem, each carry a large club. But secretly, they'd rather perform a juggling act with these juggling bats. Or they'd love to perform an acrobatic act on this circus teeter board. A large circus trunk is brought on stage at one point. Here's just a sample of the costume textures. Belinda's concession stand dress has rows of popcorn cartons around the skirt. And this is the sparkly top hat worn by Goldilocks in the finale. Bobo the Clown communicates mostly through sound. When he wants to say yes, he pumps this bicycle horn that he wears around his waist. <laughs> Finally, here's a sampling of some of the instruments played by the actor musicians throughout the performance. A tambourine. Bongo drums. A shaker with silver beads wrapped around it that's also called a cabasa. And a triangle. We hope that's helpful in giving you some textural insights into the stage and costumes for Goldilocks and the Three Bears. Please let us know how you enjoyed this virtual touch tour, and we'll see you at the performance.